Hi there, gang. It's Aaron from My Turbo Reviews, and I'm feeling in a bit of a melancholy mood today, so I thought it would be perfect to relate to you my story of my Holy Grail. Now, this is a bit of an addendum to my Getting to Know a Transformers Fan Part 4 video, uh, specifically to question number 9. I kind of skipped out on that question by faking a technical failure on purpose, because I thought that my Holy Grail story really required a, a whole video unto itself. And my Holy Grail story is actually a little bit different from a lot of other Holy Grail stories out there because I actually owned my Holy Grail for a good number of years and uh, I had to let it go at some point. I'll get to that in a little bit. But first, I'm going to take you back to the summer of 1987. I had a cousin who used to work at Hasbro, and in 1987 was when she approached me to let me know about a wonderful thing that they had there called a wholesale store. This was basically a place where you could go and purchase Hasbro toys at wholesale price rather than retail, and yes, they had mostly items that you could find currently in the store. Um, so you can imagine that I was on cloud nine being a huge Transformers fan and thought that this was a great opportunity to add to my collection. So I scrimped and saved for about a month. Uh, I had a paper route, I walked dogs, and by the end of that month I had about $250 to spend. So the day came when my cousin took me to the wholesale store and they slapped a little sticker on my chest uh, just to show that I was um, either an employee or a family member and had the right to be there and I was ushered into this huge store with shelves seemed like a, an oversized toy store and of course I immediately went to the Transformers shelving and yes they did have stuff that was mostly current in 1987 they had a few um, earlier wave figures from G1 1984 1985 and so on uh, I ended up picking up a G1 Ironhide, which I had skipped on uh, when I saw it at the store, but um, in addition to that, I bought a, a G1 Skids, a couple of Target Masters. Uh, a nephew of mine actually wanted a figure from the Visionaries line, if any of you remember that, and then I saw it. Um, it was a figure that had eluded me all that year of 1987, and even though I went on to see it at retail at some point, this was the first time I had seen it in the store, and it was glorious. And of course I'm talking about Generation 1 Fortress Maximus. That's right, the big guy himself. Now, he retailed at I believe it was KB Toy Store where I saw him eventually for $100, which was a lot of money to a kid, but what was even better than that was that at the wholesale store, I found him for $75. Can you imagine a mint in sealed box Generation 1 Fortress Maximus, obviously complete, for $75? Of course, I didn't know anything about the internet or eBay or anything like that back then so I had no idea that the whole thing was going to be kind of blown out of proportion and I ended up throwing away the box and the styrofoam the instructions a couple of bits of, of the actual toy here and there but regardless I had my Fortress Maximus and it was fantastic and I enjoyed it immensely for years I had it maybe about 10 years and then I fell upon hard times, and I was unfortunately forced to sell off some of my Transformers collection, which included all of my Headmasters, Target Masters, Six Shot, um, a bunch of 1984 and 1985 figures, and of course Fortress Maximus. Now, I believe I got about $75 just for Fortress Maximus alone. So, at the very least, I broke out even, but, man, I missed that figure, and 
even though in the years since then I've been able to reacquire most of the figures that I sold off. I got back my Scorponok, um, some of my Target Masters, uh, Six Shot. I've just never been able to pick up another Fortress Maximus, mostly because of the cost. Um, although I don't need one complete, uh, I actually have a few bits left over from him, specifically Gasket and Gromit, which combine to form Cog here, and his gun, which I see sells for a lot of money on eBay, a ridiculous amount of money, to be quite honest with you. So I don't need a complete Fortress Maximus, because I have at least these parts. And someday, I know in my heart, someday I'm going to get another Fortress Maximus, and it's going to be fantastic. It's going to be just as good as the one that I had before. Um, but for right now, I don't have him, and he remains my holy grail.